Hi everyone. Today we're going to start looking at a book called My Place, written by Nadia Wheatley and Donald Rawlins. Unlike the previous books that we've looked at, this is a book that we will be looking at over a period of a couple of weeks. It's quite a long book and there is a lot happening. In today's video, I'm going to just read through the book. There won't be any questions, but I'd like you to listen. Maybe take some notes down of interesting things that you hear. And then in the next video, we'll start looking at things a little bit more closely. Now, just to give you a bit of background so you know what's happening, My Place is a book that follows time. We start out with a family living in a house in 1988. The next page is the same house in 1978. The next page is the same house in 1968 and so on. And it goes back 200 years. Each page will tell the tale of the family who live in that house in that decade. Now, of course, not every page will be the same because 1988 was a very different time to 1788. So let's start this series with a reading through of the book My Place by Nadia Wheatley and Donna Rawlings. Now this first page here is a timeline. You can see that in the top left hand corner is a spiral. Now the spiral represents the dreaming, which is part of the Aboriginal history. And you can see that it says next to the spiral, my grandmother says we've always belonged to this place. But how long, I ask, and how far? My grandmother says, forever and ever. And as we follow along the timeline, we can see each decade is marked out with a piece of information at each of those points. Now the names that you are seeing there, the people's names that you are seeing there, are the names of the main character that will be in that decade. So let's start. 1988. My name's Laura, and this is my place. I turned 10 last week. Our house is the one with the flag on the window. Tony says it shows we're on Aboriginal land. But I think it means the colour of the earth back home. Mum and Dad live here too, and Terry and Lorraine, and Auntie Bev, and Tony, and Diane, and their baby Dean. He's my nephew, and he's so cute. We come from Burke, but Dad thought there'd be more jobs in the city. This is me and Gully. I have to keep her on a lead, because she chases cars. She comes from Burke too. I guess she thinks they're sheep. This is a map of my place. At the top of the street, there is the biggest fig tree you've ever seen. Whenever I climb up and sit in it, I always feel really good. There's a canal down the bottom of the street, and Mum says it must have been a creek once. It's too dirty to swim in, but Tony made me a tin canoe, and now some of the other kids are making them too. If you tip over and go in, the water tastes yucky and your parents go wild. For my birthday, Mum said we could have a picnic. We went and sat down under the tree, and it felt just like home. 1978. This is my place, and I'm Mike. I'm nearly seven. I live with Mum and Dad, and Yaya and Auntie Sophia. Yaya's my grandmother, but I call her that because she's Greek. I don't speak very much Greek, but I kind of always understand what she's saying. We have Easter lunch in the backyard, under the grapevine. There's roast lamb and salad, and of course I get chocolate eggs, but we have red, real eggs too, and we have a competition about cracking them. I'm the best at it. This is me in whiskers. He sneaks in and sleeps on my bed. This is a map of my place. When you're up the top of the big tree and a jet goes over, 
you feel as if you're going to fall out. Mum wants to move because of all the noise, but I like aeroplanes and trucks and stuff. Auntie Sophia and I often go down to the canal. She says that if you went down it and into the river, then into the bay, you'd be on your way to overseas. 1968. My name's Sophia, and this is my place. I'm 10. Bubba's just painted our house blue. He comes from Greece, and he says lots of houses on his island were this colour. I think it's really pretty. I live with Mama and Baba and Marula and Paul McCartney. I've got a big brother called Michaelis, but he's a soldier in Vietnam. Mama lights candles to pray that he comes home soon and isn't hurt. This is me and Paul McCartney. Marula reckons John Lennon's best, but I like Paul. Before Michaelis went away, we had a goodbye party, and he invited a girlfriend. She looked a bit left out, because all of us were speaking Greek. Mostly. Michaelis looked weird in his new haircut. He didn't want to go, but he said that the law said he had to. I wish that war would stop. This is a map of my place. Marula works at the milk bar. I put messages in bottles and send them down the canal. And sometimes, when I want to think about things, I go up the big tree in the statue yard. There are more people in the street now because of the flats, but they don't seem to have any kids. 1958. This is my place. My name's Michaelis. But at school, I say it's Mick. I'm 11. I was born on Kalimnos, but my parents moved here because there wasn't enough work on our island. Baba used to be a sponge diver, but now he drives a taxi. Mama sews shirts at home, so she doesn't learn to speak English much. I've already got a sister, Marula, and now I've got a new one called Sophia. You'd think at least one of them would have been a boy. After Sophia got christened, we had a party. Baba and I had to make a fence so no one would tread on the new grapevine. Sometimes I think there are more Greek people around here than there are on Kalimnos. This is a map of my place. Pop and Mrs Malcolm next door have got a television and sometimes they let me go in and watch it. Up near the depot, there's a big tree and I play Tarzan. That and Zorro are my favourite shows. Sometimes, at the end of the day, our family goes for a little walk beside the canal, like we used to do around the harbour back on Kalimnos. It's pretty dirty, and there aren't any cafes or anything, but Mama says if you shut your eyes, you can pretend it's the Aegean. This is me and my silkworms. They don't have names. I feed them on mulberry leaves. Their silk is soft and golden. 1948. My name's Jen, and this is my place. I'm eight and a half. I live with Mum and Grandpa and Auntie Bridie. And now there's my new dad. My real dad's dead. He went to the war before I was born, so I never even saw him. But Mum says I've got his hair. When Mum married my new dad, we had a party. Uncle Paddy and Uncle Cole came and Miss Miller from next door, and the Malcolms from the other side. Miss Miller's going to be 90 next year. My new dad's got a car, it's green. This is a map of my place. Mum says when she was a kid, there used to be heaps more shops. They're knocking the haunted house down, but Miss Miller yelled at them and made them promise not to touch the big tree. She told them I've got a swing in it, at the bottom of the street, there's a canal. The council's built a fence, but it always seems to get holes in it. Sometimes I fish down there, but I never catch anything. This is me and Soxie. Dad says we might move out to the western suburbs soon, 
and get a house with a big yard all around it. But I think Soxie would hate it. He likes how it smells here. 1938. This is my place. I'm Cole. I'm almost 11. In my house there's Pa and Declan and Bridie and Kath and Jack. My ma got pneumonia when I was little and Paddy's up country somewhere looking for work. Miss Miller next door is kind of like family too. When Kath and Jack got married, she gave them a piano. The night the Thompsons got evicted, it was like a party in the street. The bailiffs had stuck all their things out on the footpath and boarded up the house. So Mrs. Thompson knocked down the fence and built a big fire. Everyone bought a pot of stew or some spuds or something. And when we'd finished eating, Pa got out his fiddle. It didn't seem awful then. But the next day, they went away to the unemployed camp. And we never ever see them anymore. This is a map of my place. Pa and Declan got put on relief work to turn the creek into a canal. But it's finished, and they're back on the dole again. When my mate Tomo still lived here, we nicked some wood from the old house and built a fort in the big tree. And we used to swim in the canal when our parents weren't around. But now there's no one to muck about with. This is me and Bessie. She laid her eggs in my billy car and I can't use it for my paper run. I hope they hurry up and hatch. My name's Bridie and this is my place. I'm seven. I was born in Dublin, but Pa and Mama left because there wasn't much work there. Now Pa reckons jobs are getting hard to find here too. The rest of my family is Paddy and Declan and Kathleen and now Colin. Mama says he was a surprise. Pa and Paddy and Declan all work at the brickworks. Deck had to put his age up because he's only 13. I don't have a pet. But Kath and I look after Cole in the afternoons because Mama cleans at the flats. We put him in the pram and bounce him along the creek track till he goes to sleep. I wish the creek was clean enough to swim in. This is a map of my place. Last year they put in the poles. So now our lights are electric. It's really exciting living here because the aerodrome's just nearby and sometimes aeroplanes fly over. I climb up the big tree and wave to the pilots. Mama says we're lucky here because we've got good neighbours. Miss Miller lets Kath and me play her piano and if we catch Henry's bus he won't let us pay. The Thompsons on the other side have got a wireless. Lorna Thompson's my best friend. We had a party last St Patrick's Day He's the saint of Ireland, and we all wear green for him, and sing and dance. Pa got a bit sad, because he was missing home, so Mama invited the next doors in to cheer him up. 1918 This is my place. Mum calls me Bertie, but Eddie and all the blokes at the hospital call me Champ. I'm nine. My brother Eddie's only got one leg, but he's still great at cricket. He and the blokes sometimes let me play with them down by the creek. I live with Mum and Eddie and my sister Ev and we let the front room to Miss Walkley from church. Dad died at Gallipoli. Miss Walkley says that's something to be proud of, but I reckon it stinks. He was a great spin bowler. This is me and Gert. We got her to help the war effort. This is a map of my place. Mum works in the kitchen at the hospital and when Ev comes home from the factory, she puts on her VAD dress and goes over there too. I've got a tree house in the big tree now. Mum says we might have to move to the country because we can't afford to live here now, but I don't want to. On the day the war ended, people danced in the street and blokes hugged each other on the lawn. But Mum started crying. Then Miss Miller cried. 
Then Mr. Millet even cried, because their Tom and Fred won't be coming home either. So I did some stilt walking on Eddie's crutches and made them stop. 1908. My name's Evelyn, and this is my place. I'm ten. We moved here because it's close to the city for father to get to the bank. Mother teaches music at the college, but of course, Eddie and I go to the ordinary school. On the way home, we always wait near the petrol pump on Mueller's corner in case a motor car stops. Father says the main road will be tar soon and there will be even more traffic. Of course, Eddie pesters father about when we will get a motor car, but you have to be rich as anything for that. This is me and old Ned. He used to pull a horse bus, but Mr Mueller put him out to pasture when the trams went electric. He says poor Ned just couldn't keep up. Last cracker night, all our street had a bonfire down near the creek. We got crackers from the Chinese shop. Mr Mueller said it reminded him of old times. This is a map of my place. On weekends, I play caves under the big tree. Mr Mueller says when he was a boy, a dragon lived across the creek. When I was little, I used to believe him. 1898. This is my place. My name's Rowley. I'm eight. My mum and me, we rent the upstairs front room. Auntie Addie's got the middle room and Miss Singer's got the back. Mum works at the laundry with Auntie Addie. She's not really my auntie, but I call her that. Downstairs, there's Mr. Merry. He does photographs, but on weekends, he has an ice cream cart and he lets me and Tommy Mueller help him. Tom lives next door. His auntie's got a bicycle. This is a map of my place. The big tree belongs to the posh school, but I climb it anyway. A bit down the creek, it turns into a canal and there are barges. Before my dad went away, he helped build it. Mum says he just couldn't find any more work, and one day he might come back. Once a month, Mr Mary has a party. It's called the Labour Party, and it's just grown-ups sitting in his room and talking. Miss Mueller goes, but Mum and Auntie Addie don't. Mr Mary gives Tom and me a shilling to nick up to the pub and bring them back some beer. He lets us keep the change. This is me and Ned Kelly. He's the front horse on Mr Mueller's bus. But Mr Mueller reckons you've got to be an outlaw to beat the new trams. I'd like to be a tram driver when I grow up, but most people around here make bricks, so maybe I will too. Mr Mary reckons every brick in every house tells a story. 1888. My name's Victoria, and this is my place. I'm nearly 11. My father is a builder, and he built our house. And father, and mother, and Wesley, and Charles, and May and I are the first people ever to live here. Father built the next door house too, for the Mueller's, and now he started two more houses on the other side. Our house is the biggest. We've got three bedrooms upstairs, and downstairs there's a parlour and the dining room, then the breezeway, then the kitchen. We've even got tap water. Mother says it's like a dream come true, but sometimes father looks worried. This is a map of my place. Mother reckons you get sick if you even look at the creek, but father says it'll get better soon when they finish making the sewerage. Sometimes I play on the swing in the big tree, but the Owen girls don't talk to me, as if I'd care. The hotel's just changed its name because of the centenary. Mother won't even let me walk on that side of the road. We're all in the Temperance League. This year, Australia had its 100th birthday. 
We went to the centennial picnic in our neighbour's horse bus. Miss Mueller says that the country is really as old as time and that other people were living here long before all of us. Father says that's the kind of idea that you'd expect from a woman who goes to work in the city. Mother is always telling me that ladies don't have jobs, but I want to be something when I grow up. Miss Mueller even catches the morning train with all the men. This is me and Squawker. Sometimes he gives you a real fright. Once he made the dunny can man drop everything. 1878. This is my place. My name's really Heinrich, but everyone, except my grandparents, calls me Henry. I'm 10. When my mother died, Minna stopped being a teacher, and she looks after father and Anna and me. I used to have a little brother too, but he got the gastro. My grandparents and Uncle Wolf live on top of the new shop. My grandfather says that one day I will own it, but I want to be a balloonist. I didn't tell him that. This is me and Gretchen. She's Minna's cat, but she's mine too. This is a map of my place. I get over the fence and climb the big tree and pretend I'm on a balloon. The creek's so dirty, Minna won't let me play in it. She says it's like an open sewer, and that's why my brother Siggy died. One night, I woke up, and there was all this banging and yelling. I crept out into the street, and it was coming from Mr Wong's garden. So I went across the stepping stones, and there was a dragon. 1868 My name's Minna, and this is my place. I'm nine now. We used to live in Hamburg, but I like it better here. Mutti says it's too hot, and too dusty, and there is no culture. And if I don't practice the piano, I will turn into a heathen savage like Wonga Lek. I'd quite like to be a savage. Next door to our house, Vati's built a workshop. He makes saddles and harnesses and stuff like that. And my big brothers, Carl and Wolf, help him. Carl's wife, Eva, lives with us too. She's going to have a baby soon. I hope it's a girl. This is a map of my place. I hide in the big tree sometimes when Mutti starts yelling about piano practice. Vati says the creek's a scandal. It's so stinky and sludgy. At Christmas time, we have a proper German party with a fir tree and candles. Then we sing around the piano. It still seems funny without any snow, but the food tastes just as good. This is me and my kitten, Gretchen. Lek gave her to me. Some of the other kids chase after Lek and pull his pigtail. But he's my friend. 1858. This is my place. My name's Benjamin Franklin and I am 12 years old. I was born in San Francisco, but mother says dad got gold fever. First we went to the Californian fields but he didn't find anything. So we moved to Australia and he tried his luck out Bathurst way. And when that was no good, we moved here. Now dad works for Mr. Moffat, but I don't think he likes it. Last Thanksgiving, mother cooked a turkey like she used to do at home. Sometimes I wish I wasn't American because the other kids laugh at how I speak. But Dad says one day everyone in the world will be free and equal and like brothers and sisters. When I think how Beth and Amy and I fight, I don't reckon it'll be much different. This is Tripod. I share her with Lek. We found her one day down the back of the Joss house. The other kids tease Lecky too, so we stick together. This is a map of my place. The creek's too dirty to swim in, 
but Lek and I make boats and race them down it. Sometimes we hide up in the big tree and throw figs down at the kids who call us things. 1848. My name's Johanna, and this is my place. Soon I'll be ten. I live here with Granny Sarah because my ma died when she had me. She was called Alice. Granny Sarah grows vegetables, and I help her carry them around to people's houses and sell them. We use creek water for the garden, but you can't drink it. There's a wool washery up near the swamp, and they drain all their yuck into our creek. This is a map of my place. Sometimes I creep into the Owen's garden and climb the big tree. If Mr. Owen catches me, he gives me a weird look, but he just stomps away. Granny Sarah says I'm never to go there. Last time Uncle Sam came home, we had a party. He's a sailor, and you'd never guess what he bought me. Auntie Marianne got a half holiday. She's Mrs. Owen's upstairs maid. Uncle Davy still lived here then, but he's gone out Bathurst way now to be a shepherd for Mr. Charles, and Granny Sarah says that one day we might move there too. She reckons too many people live here now, and she's fed up to the teeth with the dust of the main road and all the traffic. This is me and mischief. Isn't he beautiful? 1838. This is my place. I'm Davy and I'm seven. Just Ma and me live here now because Alice and Mary Ann live up at the new house and are maids. Sam's my brother, but he's on a ship catching whales. He's 14. Before Sam went away, Mr. Owen was shot by bush rangers, so Mr. John became the master. Ma says he's even worse. Mr. John's sold most of the farm, and there are three more big houses now between here and the river. This is a map of my place. When the wind blows the wrong way, it stinks from Mr. John's tannery. Ma says we're really lucky we're up the good end of the creek but she won't eat the oysters anymore. There's a swing in the big tree for Mr. John's kids, and I'm not allowed to play on it. So I climb up and drop figs on them, and they run away. Once, Mr. John caught me and whipped me, but it was worth it. They're snobs. When I was little, my father fell off the roof of the new house and died. Ma says she hates the Owens and all their works. I don't really remember him, but one night last summer, Ma took me to the creek and lit a big campfire. We stayed up all night and she told me how Dad discovered the swimming hole. This is me and Duchess. She belongs to Mr. John, but the groom lets me brush her. Next year, I'm starting work as a stable boy. 1828. My name's Alice, and this is my place. I'm nine and a quarter. Another girl called Alice lived here once, but she died, and Ma gave me her name. The Owens used to live here, but they're staying in Sydney town till their new house is built. Mr. John still often comes back to check on things. Ma and Dad live here too, of course, and Mary Ann and little Sam. Dad's in charge of the farm and the convicts. They're making a quarry to get stone for the new house. I take them their lunch. This is me and Wilhelmina. She loves it when I scratch her back. This is a map of my place. The new house is going to be near the big tree. I got Dad to promise they won't cut it down. I love it. The creek's still pretty clean here, but Dad reckons there were lots more fish around in the olden days. The night the Owens went, we all had a party. 
dad used to be a convict too, so he doesn't treat the men like slaves, like Mr. Owen and Mr. John do. Ma roasted a whole sheep, and old Freddy danced on the table. 1818. This is my place. My name's Charles, and I'm eight and a half. I live here with my mother, and my brother John, and my sister Meg, and sometimes my father. I had another sister called Alice, but she died. Sam and Sarah are our servants. Sam is in charge of things because father is mostly in Sydney. John says father is making money. He's got a new woolen mill across the swamp. John says he's going to make money too when he grows up, but I want to be a farmer. This is me and Daisy. Sarah taught me to milk her. Sarah's nice. She lets me turn the handle on the butter churn and drink the buttermilk. When Sam and Sarah got married, we had a party. Mother lent Sarah her second best shawl, and father gave them a guinea in three days holiday. John got drunk on rum. This is a map of my place. The long hut up the back is for the convicts. Mother says I'm not allowed to talk to them, but I do. The big tree is great to climb. When I'm up the top, I pretend I've crossed the Blue Mountains, and I'm choosing some land for my very own farm. The other good thing is the creek. I build dams, but John breaks them up. 1808 My name's Sarah, and this is my place. I'm nine. I was born in Sydney, but my mother came from England on a convict ship. Last year, she died, so Mrs. Owen took me as a servant. She doesn't beat me much, but you should see all the work I have to do. Mrs. Owen lives here too, of course, and Alice, and the baby John. Mr. Owen's mainly in Sydney doing business. Mrs. Owen runs the farm, and she has five convict servants and Sam to help her. Sam used to be a convict, but now he's a ticket of leave man. He's more like my family than anyone else in the world. This is me and Pokey. I call her that because she pokes her head into my lean-to at night. I steal crusts for her, and she's learning to eat from my hand. She's my secret. One day, some soldiers came to see Mr. Owen. They ate and drank a lot, and talked about kicking out Governor Bly. I hate it when adults get drunk and talk politics, so I nicked some jam rolly and some oranges, and Alice and I went up to the big tree and had our own party. This is a map of my place. I look after the vegetables and they taste great. The wheat and stuff all goes to Sydney. Sam swims in a deep hole in the creek, but I'm not allowed to. 1798. This is my place. My name's Sam and I was born in London. I'm 11. The judge put me in jail because I stole a jacket. I was cold. In the jail they beat me. Then they put me on a ship and sent me here. Then they let me out to work for Mr. Owen. Sometimes he whips me too, but at least it's not cold, and I can catch heaps of fish to eat. Last Christmas, Mr. Owen gave me a holiday. Mrs. Owen is still in England, and she sent out a pudding. Mr. Owen drank a lot of rum and let me eat as much as I liked. I've never had a pudding or a holiday before. This is me and Katie. I milk her every morning, and at night I put her in the pen in case she wanders away. This is a map of my place. We're clearing the bush back to make a farm. It gives me blisters. Mr. Owen has 90 acres, 
that he wants to buy more. I think he's got too much already. Sometimes he goes off to Sydney Cove to get supplies and doesn't come back for a week. I get scared at night then, but in the daytime I nick down to the creek. I've found a great swimming hole. At the top of the hill there's a big tree. I climb up it and pretend I can see all the way to Shoreditch. That's where my mother is, and my sisters and brother. I wish I had someone to play with. 1788 My name's Barangaroo. I belong to this place. We're staying here for the summer, at the creek camp, to get the fish down in the bay. But often we stay a while at other places. Everywhere we go is home. I live with my parents and my brother Beriwan and my grandparents and my aunties and uncles and cousins. We take our tools and our hunting and fishing stuff with us when we move. But of course we leave the huts and canoes here for next time. Sometimes I wonder what it would be like to stop in the same place always. But my grandmother says no one does that. I guess it would be boring. This is a map of this place. We camp here because the creek water is so fresh and good and we're close to the river and the bay. In the creek there's a great swimming hole where my cousins and I always play. My father says he swam in exactly the same place when he was a boy and my grandfather says he did too. At the top of the hill there's a big fig tree. This is our dog. He sleeps with me. Last week a whale got washed up on the bay so we invited some other people from around about and had a big barbecue. As well as the meat, we had piles of vegetables and oysters and pippies and crabs and octopus and I've forgotten what else. I ate so much I thought I'd explode. Then I fell asleep till the nighttime party started. Sometimes at the end of the day I climb to the top of the big tree and play that I'm the only person in the world. If I look one way, the sea runs out till it meets the sky. But the other way, the land goes on till the sun sets. My grandmother says we've always belonged to this place. But how long? I ask. And how far? My grandmother says forever and ever. So that's the story my place. It's quite a long story, but as you can see there are a lot of things happening. In the next video we'll come back to the story and we'll start to do some learning based on what happens.